It is pretty clear the archaeology and science would be nothing at all if there were no interesting archaeological puzzles to solve. Luckily, archaeologists and scientists always have something new to discover and research on our beautiful yet extremely mysterious planet. Archaeologists surely have one of the most interesting jobs out there, but it must be rather scary to visit all these objects and unknown structures. Because of that, hats off to the archaeologists. Of course, just as archaeologists, science are here to answer the most common questions about certain objects and structures. With their great ability of research and knowledge, these people are crucial in the discovery of our planet and even space. Even those with the highest skills and knowledge sometimes find themselves to be very confused about certain things on our planet. The Earth might be tiny compared to other planets, but it for sure has a lot of variety. Some things that have been found on our planet have never been explained. And the further we go, the more unanswered questions we get. We are probably going to have a lot more unanswered questions in 200 years from now on a lot more than we have right now, and that is a completely normal process in the development of humanity and us as a species. Here are five amazing archaeological discoveries that even scientists cannot explain. Bosnian Pyramids and their mysterious complexity Pyramids of Giza are truly impressive, and we have never thought there could be anything that is greater than they are but look at the beautiful pyramids of Bosnia. They make the pyramids of Giza look like a toddler's toy. One of the local archaeologists in Bosnia, Samir Osmanagic, made a claim related to the Bosnian pyramids. He believes they are at least 30,000 years old, which is 20,000 earlier than what our history taught us. The Bosnian pyramids are a massive complex of five different pyramids. The entire complex can be found near a small town, 30 kilometers northwest of Sarajevo in Bosnia. Some of the scientists refuse to even look at them and they claim Samir is just trying to secure funding and get more tourists in Bosnia. Of course, not all scientists refuse to know more. Carbon dating of organic fossils has been found inside the chambers that have been excavated. The find suggests that the pyramids really are approximately 30,000 years old. This is extremely surprising, considering we have been taught that the earliest human civilizations were 10,000 years ago. Just like the Egyptian pyramids, the pyramids of Bosnia also orient to the cosmic north. What makes the pyramids of Bosnia so special is the fact that they are 15 times more accurate than the Pyramid of Giza. The top of each pyramid, dragon, sun, and moon also forms a flawlessly perfect equilateral triangle. Another interesting thing is that the overlapping layers of concrete on the surface of the Sun Pyramid seem to be deliberate for the integrity of the entire structure. The tests in Italian, French and Bosnian confirm the found concrete is not of a natural origin at all. Apparently it has water resistance and strength much more superior to the known material. There are also electromagnetic beams that are coming from the top of the Bosnian pyramids. These beams get a lot stronger as they extend further away. The underground chambers of the pyramids seem to feature ionization levels that are much higher than the outside. The archaeologist Samir believes they also have different healing properties. The tests made in the areas away from the pyramids show the phenomena exists nowhere else but only in the areas of the pyramids. How accurate and honest is Samir? Maybe our scientists should take a better look at these pyramids after all. The ancient Bolshoi Zayatsky labyrinths. Labyrinths have always been very interesting, but on a small number of remote islands at the White Sea, Russia, you can find the highest concentration of the ancient labyrinths on our planet. After various theories, researches and discussions, the historians and archaeologists could not come to an agreement about why was all this built and what was the actual purpose of these labyrinths. The labyrinths found here still remain a complete mystery and we are probably never going to know the whole story. There are 35 Neolithic labyrinths that can be found here. They are also known as Vavilons, 
Babylons. The labyrinths are pretty well preserved and they date back to 3000 BC. Aside from strange labyrinths, no one has an explanation for. 850 heaps of boulders have also been found on the island. Some of them contained bone fragments too. Other stone formations which were found on the island represent the sun, which is believed to be related to the spiritual beliefs of the people back then. The largest labyrinth measures around 25.5 meters in diameter, and the smallest one is about six meters in diameter. Each of the labyrinths has an entrance and an exit point. After many theories and speculations, most of the people accepted the theory of Carl Schuster and Edmund Carpenter. These two claim that the labyrinths were linked to the religious beliefs. They say the prehistoric labyrinths were actually traps for malevolent spirits and symbols for the barrier between the underworld and this world we live in. Which theory is the right one? No one really knows. But these labyrinths have a very interesting story behind them. Even without the answers, they remain mysterious. Strangely old nanostructures in the Ural Mountains, Russia. Russia is a massive country, and lately there have been many new discoveries related to it. One of them is this extremely interesting story coming from the Ural Mountains in Russia. The nanostructures that have been found here have been a very popular topic all around the world. The structures are believed to be a product of an extremely old ancient civilization. A civilization that might have been capable of creating and developing nanotechnology 300,000 years ago. The whole discovery happened during a geological research in the purposes of gold extraction in the Ural Mountains. Along with the gold, the researchers found something even more valuable, spirals, coils and shafts, together with a list of other unidentified components. Several tests have been made by the Russian Academy and the results were extremely interesting. It has been found that the largest pieces were almost entirely made out of copper, while the smaller ones were made from molybdenum and tungsten. According to all of the information we have right now, the nanostructures were found at a depth between 15 and 40 feet. The various researches that have been made show that the structures actually date back to 300,000 years. There are no answers to who made these nanostructures and what was their real purpose. The Mysterious Gateway of the Sun Located in modern-day Bolivia, very close to the Lake Titicaca, the Gateway of the Sun was first discovered in 19th century by European explorers. This is a massive, very ancient stone arch that has been around for at least 1500 years. This ancient stone has been a true mystery for ages and we still have no idea what was the actual purpose of this structure. The Andean legend claims that the Titicaca Lake was the home of the first humans on our planet. The Tiwanaku culture believes that Lord Virachocha was actually the one who was chosen Tiahuanico. Many historians believe that Lord Virachocha was the central figure of the massive ancient stone. It is very interesting that the Gateway of the Sun was made out of a single massive rock called andesite. The entire structure is approximately 3 meters tall and nearly 4 meters wide. We do not know what was the purpose of this structure, but it sure looks like it was a very important thing to the ancient Tuanaku people. There are various theories related to this massive stone, but there are no proofs that can back up any of their theories. Some of the theories claim that the Gateway of Sun can allow people to cross over to a completely different dimension. Whether or not this is true, we do not know, but it will surely continue to fascinate us for a long time. Various Mysteries of the Long Yu Caves The Long Yu Caves lie near the village of Xi'an Beikun, China. These caves are massive. They are very ancient and extensive underground structures. The Long Yu Caves grottos are thought to date back as far as 2,000 years. They are one of the largest underground excavations in the world and they are covered in various mysteries that cannot be explained. They were first discovered by a local villager back in 1992. By now, we have found 36 caves and each one of the caves contains rooms, bridges, pools and gutters. 
There are pillars that were made to support the ceiling, walls and stone columns that are covered in chisel marks and series of various parallel lines. 35 caves remain closed to the public, but one of them is even opened for tourism. How were these caves constructed? No one really knows. There were no tools found in the area. Scientists are stunned by the perfect symmetry and precision of the caves. And even now, we could probably not even build something like this ourselves. On a question who built them and what was their purpose, we can all remain silent once again, because no one actually knows this either. Some theories claim that the entire cave complex was actually used for extracting and mining mineral resources. Some claim these were made to be tombs of the old emperors. One theory suggests the caves were places made for troops. They were stationed there when the emperor wanted to keep his soldiers out of view. Sadly, many theories have been abandoned because the caves should have taken years to actually build, and there is no construction evidence found related to any of the complex parts. Most of the caves are nearly identical, and they all follow the same building pattern. Which theory is the right one, and who really built these massive caves? That was five archaeological discoveries that scientists can't explain. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.